Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the people to go forward. That dramatic moment comes in Exodus 14, verse 15, and Israel is camped by the Red Sea, and they've left Egypt behind, everything they've known, everything that's familiar to them. And they face ahead what is unknown and dangerous and frightening and confusing. The armies of Egypt are pursuing them to drag them back home. They're wondering why they ever, ever risked leaving in the first place. They're scared, they're angry, and I can identify with them. I found myself in that same position where I'm caught by old patterns that I can't change. I, I've tried. Patterns of thinking, of emotional reactions, of relating to other people, managing my life. Sometimes I'm just confused about how to go forward. Sometimes I'm angry or grieving the changes that have been thrust on me by life, by other people, by circumstances beyond my control, things that are unwelcome, sometimes things that I've chosen, and now I'm in the thick of it. Can you identify with any of that yourself? I'm Susan Davis, and I've been a psychologist for the past 20 years working with people to find their way along this transformative journey. I have traveled this road myself, and I have found the story of the Exodus to be a wonderful guide to the phases and the qualities and the experiences that come on any kind of change journey, a path of change, a path of transformation. And so I've written a book because I was hoping that this might help you if you identify with it. The book is called Something Rich and Strange, Discovering Your Path to Wholeness. In the book, I look at the phases of the journey from the story of the Exodus, from leaving what is familiar, the decision, to move forward, the confusion of wandering in the wilderness, the joy of the deeper, truer, richer life that we can have when we find the promised land. And each of those phases I look at through four perspectives. The first being the Exodus story itself. Most of us know that story from movies or Sunday school, but we look a little more in depth at what it can teach, how it can help us. And then I look at the knowledge that psychology and psychotherapy have amassed over the years and how that can shed light on a particular step in the journey. We listen to some stories about my life and also the words of my patients who are finding their way through in their own lives. And then look at some of the words and the images that writers and poets have shared to cast light on that phase of the journey. I hope that this could be helpful to you. I invite you to walk with me on this journey of transformation. And then to share your thoughts on the Facebook fan page, through my website, susandavisphd.com. And I, as a parting gift, have a little present for you. These words of wisdom from that little movie, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Wherever you are in your life and on your journey, I hope this can provide some comfort and encouragement for you, as it has for me. Everything will be all right in the end. If it's not all right, trust me, it's not the end.